guys what's up welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my september reading wrap up if you guys watched last month's i did not have the best reading month so i'm very proud of all the books that i read they were all pretty good um but yeah i'm just going to start talking about them first book i finished in september was purple hearts by tess whitfield or something like that tess wakefield um, this, I read this because I watched the film on Netflix and I just wanted to read the book. I ended up rating the book two and a half stars. I think I liked the movie more than the book, so if you're interested in one, I would definitely recommend that. I also did like a little reading vlog where I talked about this, so I'll leave the reading vlog right here. I didn't actually read that book in that reading vlog now that I'm thinking about it because I lost the footage. But anyways, I enjoyed it. I read it on my iPad and it was an enjoyable book. Also read these two books in that reading vlog and that was the second and third novels in the slam series by Colleen Hoover. This was originally supposed to be my August read for Colleen. It just got pushed back to September but yeah this is the second book. I ended up rating these both three stars. These are actually the first books that I haven't rated five stars in Colleen. All of her books I've always rated her five stars. But this series is the first one I didn't just because, I don't know, they took me a long time. I thought they were kind of immature. They were Colleen's first completed series. So like her first book, like Slammed, was her first novel as an individual author. So I think that kind of has to do, like, it impacts it some way. But yeah, I, and I can't really talk about these two since they're the sequels to the original book. But I liked it overall. I thought the tropes were interesting but good like i thought i liked it i enjoyed it there were points where i was giggling and like oh my gosh so sweet um but yeah if you're interested in like a high school like late high school early college romance i would recommend this series the next book i read i actually read this in the reading vlog too but i finally finished the crown of gilded bones i rated this three stars i loved the first two books in the series i read it within 48 hours both of them um rated them both five stars then i got into this i read this for almost two months it took me such a long time i don't know if i it was just like me moving back to school i didn't have time to read it um but it kind of just felt repetitive i still like the story and i'm currently reading the fourth book um which i still haven't finished and i've been reading that for like a month but anyways i don't know this book was just interesting i was like oh i'm not gonna get in a book slump everyone says like when they get the, to the third book they start like not liking the series i was like that's not gonna be me like i'm obsessed with it but it actually was me i don't know i want to read the rest of the series just because i want to know what's gonna happen but it this me and this book have beef and that's all i can say about it this one i'm really excited about i read light lark by alex esther we all know about this book i have a reading vlog for this one i actually really enjoyed this one i rated it four stars i thought the world building was pretty good i do think there was some like repetitive things i never saw like what she promoted on tiktok so i don't know like my expectations were met because i wasn't necessarily expecting anything i mean what i was expecting was to hate this book actually because of all the tiktok drama that surrounded it but i ended up really enjoying it rated it five stars or four stars like i said and i'm like super excited for the sequel like i wish it was already out so i could go ahead and pick it up but i don't know who i'm rooting for like if you guys have read this let me know who you're rooting for because i can't decide but yeah also i just i really like the cover i love fantasy romance type things so this was a win for me okay, the next book i read is actually a classic and that is edgar Allan poe's only completed novel i hated this book i'm not even gonna lie i think i rated it two stars no i rated it one and a half stars this book was definitely done for a cash grab on poe's and, and like we can't hate him for that like he needed money so he wrote this but it was just the most interesting book i've ever read i read it for class that's the only reason i finished it honestly but i'm glad i did read it because this is i think one of my first like like i never read poe in high school or any of my previous english classes so i think this is his first work that i'm reading so hopefully like the next time i read something poe has written my expectations are just like blown out of the water because this was just really bad and i think it was bad like the amount of detail detail is good but when it's this amount of detail it's awful it's bad it made me want to skim i didn't skim because i had to write a paper over it but i just did not like it the only thing i like is that it's a penguin classic cover and i love penguin classics but 
anyways read at your own risk if you're wanting to read something by a male who struggled with alcohol and substance abuse here you go i'll give it over to you up to two books left okay the the second to last one i have is the wife between us this is a domestic thriller i got this at barnes and noble in august i think or no early september i got this this month and I was like, perfect, like we're getting into fall, I wanna read a domestic thriller. I picked this one up, I rated it three stars. I thought it was good. I think the beginning was very slow for me and immediately I knew what was gonna happen. Like every plot twist that happened throughout the novel, I assumed to some capacity, which kind of takes the joy out of like reading a thriller because I wanna be shocked. Like some, I typically am able to guess the plot twist, but not the full extent of it. But this I was like, I knew word for word, like what was gonna happen. And I think the authors, they added multiple twists to like, oh, if you knew this, like you didn't know this. But every single time they did that, like I think there were like four plot twists at the end. I suspected every single one. So I don't really know how to feel about that. I did like it, I enjoyed it, rated it three stars. I would recommend if you like, you've read other thrillers and you're looking for something that you might like this would be a recommendation. My last book is another Penguin classic, and that is Clotel, um, or The President's Daughter, by William Wells Brown. I rated this one three and a half stars. I like this one so much more than Edgar Allan Poe's, um, the author, no, the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket. Uh, such a long title, but this one is it kind of feels like a nonfiction book. It's written by someone who was owned as a slave and he uses like real life things that happened and myths to tell the story of a fictional girl named Clotel who is rumored to be the daughter of Thomas Jefferson and one of his slaves, which now we know that Thomas Jefferson did have kids with his slaves, but at the time that this was written, it was just a rumor. So it was kind of interesting reading this book because when it was written, it was all a rumor, but now we know in the 21st century that Thomas Jefferson actually did have children with his slaves. So it was just very interesting. I liked the different point of views that we got to see. Well, we didn't we didn't get to see different point of views, but it was different like following of different characters. Like we saw Clotel, we saw her sister, we saw um, their mother. Like we we got to see many different things happening and I really enjoyed that. And I think that's why I rated it three and a half stars. And then of course it's a Penguin classic. So we have a beautiful cover which is always fun these are all the books i read this month i think i read eight books which is better than my three that i read last month so i'm very happy about that i have a lot of books on my tbr for october probably not going to reach all of them but that should be the next book video that's coming i think don't hold me to that but it should be the next video after this one so be excited for that let me know what you guys read this month what was the most surprising book for you either good or bad however you want to take that but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace and love. Bye, guys.